Uh, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tokopata Insho T and uh, if it's your first time, welcome, welcome. If you come back again, thank you so, so much. I appreciate you so much for coming back, baby. <laughs> This is my very first chit chat get ready with me am i excited yes and i hope i do hope you enjoy it um i decided to show you guys my everyday flat my everyday flat attendant makeup look my everyday flat attendant makeup look my everyday makeup look to work this is the this is the look i rock to work every single day like i do not change <laughs> my makeup look i don't know why even my eye look i do not change it whether it's a short flight long flight whatever this is it and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i did have some problems with my camera with my with my battery going on and off on and off so in some clips there will be some pauses and stuff some pauses and stuff it's mainly because my battery was going on and off but i do hope you enjoy it and let's get right into it <laughs> if you see my lips my tongue white it's because i'm currently having extra extra strong i don't know if you remember these guys these triple x strong just i've been obsessed with these lately i'm also having on the side i'm also having um a lipton iced tea i poured it in here and yeah i can't believe i'm actually doing this good Okay, first question that I want to answer, do you plan to have a family? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, I do plan on having a family. Uh, this is the first primer that I got the other day. Um, do I plan on having a family? Yes, for sure. So, one thing about me, I love the idea of kids running around the idea of having your own kids you know like i know right now um, um i don't have my own kids but to people that i know that have kids oh my god i know it's like a lot of work and all of that like yo it's so stressful and all of that but i want to have that stress i want to have that stress and i want to get married for sure i want to get married i have stopped thinking too much about the idea of getting married because i remember i watched a clip and it was actually talking about how you can idolize getting married you know you can idolize the idea of marriage and i'm not saying i'm putting a pause on it but i'm just allowing it to happen naturally if it happens yes i do pray about it i do pray about getting married and having my own kids and all of that I want to have a family and I cannot wait to have my own family and I know me having my family would have would mean me, me resigning and yeah so, and then I go in with this uh, smudge I go in with this smudge concealer um, in the shade camera mode but yeah I put a lot of it guys I put a lot of it uh, okay hi t maybe i might have used this on in on your other videos because i'm quite a new savvy welcome welcome um but i'd like to know <clears throat> how you became a flight attendant i think this question links to two other questions that somebody else asked which means which said what did you study in varsity or college also it says uh, which also says uh, what was your first job so Oh, like how did I decide to become a flat attendant? I go in with this Too Faced uh, on this way concealer in the shade Golden. I studied industrial engineering in the University of Tony University of Technology, and then um, I went forth to do my practicals. And from my practicals, I got my first job as a as an estimation and planning coordinator. And then from there, I um, yes, this is how this job came about. 
So I was working as an estimation kind of whatever planning coordinator for like I think it was two or was it two years or three years? I don't know, two years or three years, whatever. So while I was working there, one of my colleagues, um one of my colleagues um that I love so dearly and I appreciate her till this day. I'm so grateful to her. Because had she not suggested this, this would not be happening right now. But one of my colleagues came up to me and said to me, um, do you perhaps wanna so I was getting drained from this job. Like not drained, but like I was not happy. Like I was really not happy, guys, with like I was not happy. And I know it will be like with regards to what I was not happy like with the job. I wanted to do something different. And um I was just like I was just drained, like I was continuously drained. I was doing my battery is dying and <laughs> I'm not even halfway. I was getting drained of the job and I couldn't I couldn't take it anymore. And um, she just came up to me and she was like, girl, can I recommend something for you? And I was like, for sure. You know, I was like, for sure. She's like, um, uh, so there's this job. Um, I don't know if you would be interested. I, I don't know if you would be interested, but this is what's happening. So she showed me that. I was like, Guys, it didn't even take me a second to think, this is it, I'm taking this job. I am definitely applying, so I applied for the job and, oh, girl, I got a response. I didn't think, when I was applying, I didn't think, oh, this can't be that hectic. I mean, it's just a black team. This was my view. I'm like, it can't be that hectic. <laughs> girl, oh, girl. So, um, I ended up applying and then, um, what's this? I got the email for the open day and then for the open day um, I got the uh, what's this the date of the year the date of the open day and where will it be and whatever so I went to the open day I was dressed in a I was dressed in a blue dress and pink heels pink high heels everybody was literally wearing black uh, white shirts and black because I think everybody had already like invested their time into into like reading more about the job blah 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 I I was just winging it because I thought oh, it's just a flight and him job it can't be that hectic did I not get there and find like a thousand more than a thousand I think plus minus a thousand Girls, they're beautiful. When I tell you beautiful girls, Chana, Sana, I'm telling you, I saw a thousand like beautiful girls, and I was like, uh -huh. girl, you're definitely not making it. For sure, you're not making it. With these beautiful girls, you're definitely not making it. I got there, and then they asked me, what do you do? And I just told them what they do, and I gave them my, I dropped off my, 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 whatever, what do you call this thing? <laughs> my CV and, um, so yeah I told them this is what I do and then they invited me for the, me for the assessment day for my assessment day um, the assessment day was nothing hectic we just wrote an English test and the uh, was it an English test yeah English test from the English test we did the reach test from the reach test we got invited to, we did we, we declared our scars and then from the declaring of our scars we got invited to the interview final interview so from those thousands of people there was only like a few that are chosen. The entire process took like plus minus three months. So, so yeah, that's what I studied. That's why that's how I decided to become a flight attendant. It was just suggested. I didn't know anything about Qatar. I didn't even know Qatar Airways as a brand. So yeah, um after that, how long have you been flying? And okay, so I've been flying for in total now it's almost three years. Three years? Yeah, it's almost three years. And how long do you intend uh, do you intend on becoming senior in the industry? For example, a person. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know if I want to become a person. I don't know. I honestly don't know because I feel like that question depends on if I do get get married, you know? Because if I do get married, 
if I do meet the love of my life soon, I to get married soon, then I will not become a person. But if I don't get married and I don't meet my goals, then I don't know, I guess I will have to become one. <laughs> because yeah, these things happen. Okay, so next questions. Um, how has life changed for you? Oh, I love this question. How has life changed for me? Life has changed drastically for me. So I was a nine to five girl. And for me, the biggest part of my life in, um, involved <clears throat> church. So I was a everyday church girlie. Not everyday church girlie, but I was, I used to serve at church. So my life revolved around the church. Everything about me was church. If you know me from back then, you would definitely know. So, so yeah, everything about me was church, 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 church. So coming here and and um, having to adapt to a different schedule where like you fly, you fly from midnight, whatever, whatever. You don't have a fixed schedule. You Sundays you're working and uh, during the week there's no midweek service because you're working and whatever. So going from that to having to adapt to this kind of lifestyle where you basically go to church when you find a chance to go, when you get a chance to go to church was drastic for me. So having to adapt to that was crazy. It took a dive on my spiritual life. Like my spiritual life went like, oh, crash landed. It crash landed, Sana. And having to try and pick myself up from there with the help of the Holy Spirit and God. Huh? It, it was it was it was it was it was insane it was insane it was it was difficult i am still struggling i'm still struggling i am a struggling christian i'm still struggling but yeah man um like i'm telling you when you have the holy spirit the holy spirit by your side it will get better it will get better so that's how life has changed for me um okay how did your passion for aviation come about and never it just happened like I said what are you most grateful for um, I know this is gonna sound a bit like oh. but one thing I'm most grateful for <laughs> guys I wish I had a different answer but is salvation I'm so sorry but I know this I got this from my surprise by the way I should have gone in before the concealer but because yappa 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 but I'm grateful for um, my salvation. Like I'm grateful for salvation because, guys, Christ has been the center of my life. And every time, and when I mean the center of my life, I mean He has been. Like everything has been about Him, you know. Even when days when or even when see in seasons, because this has been like even in seasons when I didn't really acknowledge him as my savior and my healer and my provider and my whatever, he was the center of my life. So, guys, Christ has been it for my life. So my salvation is the most, is one thing I'm most grateful for. And um, other than that, my mother, guys, my parents, my parents are, oh my gosh. Guys, my parents are everything to me and I appreciate them so much. So they are, uh, a group of, of like they are something I'm grateful for like my parents they're more supportive guys I remember when I lost my job because uh, we came here in 2020 and then COVID happened and then we got redundant when I lost my job my parents made me feel like and I, they made me feel like I actually didn't even lose my job like for me it was torture like internally it was torture but being with them oh and my grandmother, which I lost um, in 2021, but yeah, my parents are like people that I'm grateful for. They are, they are my day one. They are, they are my everything. Like guys, I can't wait to finally buy my parents or build my parents a big mansion. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. But it will happen. It will happen. Um, next question: What advice would you give to young girls about creating the life? They desire and not falling into trouble trying to maintain a certain lifestyle guys I, I i struggled with this right so when i was younger i wouldn't say younger per se but when i was still finding myself in like finding myself right? i didn't want to be loud about my journey with christ right 
and I remember I even remember I remember like um, somebody actually saying to me oh mama wrote because I was subtle about this Christianity thing I would pose like a scripture but I would not like I would not engage that much you know and I would you know and until my mom actually shared to me um, her Christian journey and how I think we were still talking about how I struggled with my in my in my not necessarily childhood but how I struggled with not really being out there with with, with regards to my faith and um, being called Mamrudi and all of that, right? And I'm gonna say my advice to you. This is basically if you're a Christian. So I never used to talk much about my faith and all of that and how I'm Christian and how whatever. And I never used to talk much about it. And then I would allow to do certain things because I was also trying to protect, um, protect, not necessarily protect, no, not even protect. I was trying to fit in because I mean, I mean, I'm young, well, you know, I remember me, I had this other friend of mine who used to quote that scripture, like, you know, that if every, it's an ecclesiastical, the, um, there's a time for this at the time, and me and my friend, we used to convince ourselves, we're both Christians, that there's a time when we will be serious about our faith. There's a time when we will stop. But for now, we're gonna have fun. Right, we're gonna have fun. And, um, girl, we used to get in trouble. Not that much. I'm not gonna say I was a troublesome kid. I wasn't a troublesome kid, to be honest with you. I wasn't a troublesome kid. Um, my brother was. <laughs> my brother definitely was. But yeah, that's not about him. Um, yeah. I was not a troublesome kid, so this, so yeah, me not being out there about my faith or whatever, I realized that for what, why am I trying to fit in the people that eventually don't really care that much about me or don't even, like they don't, they don't, they don't see me like, like eventually it won't mean nothing. So what I, my advice to you is that girl, be about the word of God. <laughs> I know you're too young, but be about the word of God. Be about your faith. Be about your Christianity. Because everything, everything else, eventually you will see like, really, was it worth it? Was it worth it getting into trouble, do all those stupid things? Was it worth it? Was it worth it? For some other people, it builds them up to become certain, like eventually they will learn from their mistakes and whatever. But for me personally, if I would say something to my younger self, focus on your, focus on your walk with God. Kids are killing it these days, like when it comes to um, their faith. Kids are like youngings are your they are killing it guys i go on tiktok and i see like young young kids like preaching the word of god like they've been in this for years yo uh, uh so for me personally it's boring maybe i'm boring but i would advise you to be about your like stay out of trouble stay out of trouble and just be about your faith be about the word of God be like just stay out of trouble it's not worth it it's not worth it it is definitely not worth it for some people it will be but for you for you my doll don't do it <laughs> how was your childhood my childhood was a bit tricky you know it was a bit tricky to be honest with you it was a bit tricky like primary school was not really the best <laughs> I'm so sorry if we went to the same primary school, but it was not really the best. Like primary school, that's when those bullying things happened. Again, my battery died. But anyway, I go in with this um, city bronzer from Maybelline, quite costly. I don't remember what I was talking about. To be honest, <laughs> guys, this is so frustrating with my battery dying and all of that. And I'm so sorry about that. I'm really so sorry, but okay. All right, um, yes, I was talking about being bullied. I was bullied in primary school. 
why am I laughing? It's not funny, honestly. It's not funny. I was bullied in primary school and you know when it happens and at that moment it doesn't sound like it doesn't seem like a big thing but eventually when you grow up you tend to think about it you're like I was actually bullied <laughs> you're just like anyway but I I've moved on like I've really moved on I I don't you know I don't dwell too much on it it's, it's okay it's a thing of the past we were kids <laughs> we were really kids so yeah my childhood was like my childhood was was, was, was okay i grew up um alone because uh um, i've got a brother that so he he he's like five years older than me so he went to boarding school and i never really spent time with him or whatever but he went to boarding school from boarding school he went to varsity from varsity so i never so i was literally like only the only child because most of the time i was alone my brother would just come on holidays and stuff like that so yeah, that was my childhood. I was, yeah, I was basically the only child. Not really the only, but yeah. Um, okay. How do you maintain your faith whilst living in a predominantly Muslim country? Hmm, Alison, predominantly. <laughs> Here, I feel like, um, maintaining your faith it's easy because one thing about um it's easy i'm not saying it's easy in a fact it's easy because they are not all up in your face like we're a muslim country we're a muslim country you need to practice muslim things no they're not like that honestly they are not like that and it's easy what's hard is maintaining your faith when you're a cabin crew that's where the yeah the difficulty comes in it's very difficult and then i go in with this um this nos um in the shade of orgasm <laughs> nos did you have to um yeah maintaining it in the muslim country is easy because we do have churches here not a lot but we do have churches here that's a bit of, that's we do have churches here so you can go to church you know you can go to church we go to church on fridays and then on thursdays we have midweek service and tuesdays we have prayer service so we do have churches here so you can maintain it what's difficult is actually when you're a cabin crew you know because one thing about me i love those three a.m prayers <laughs> hey one thing about me i love the three a.m prayers i'm a three a.m prayer girl so if you're gonna call me and say, girl, let's play at 3 a.m., I'm like, you're my girl. <laughs> you're my girl. I love the 3 a.m. prayers. I love praying at 3 a.m. I don't know. I just I just love it. I, I know. I just told the whole world that I pray at 3 a.m. <laughs> yeah, so I'm a 3 a.m. prayer goodie. So uh, having to pray at a different time, I know you have to pray all the time without teasing it shouldn't matter what time it is i just prefer praying around those times but praying in the afternoon for me like having a spiritual warfare in the afternoon for me is like <laughs> yeah it's a bit difficult but i do do it either way i have to do it uh so yeah also studying the word of god for me i love doing that in the mornings not in the mornings but around those in the ams i like i love doing I don't know it just feels like intense i don't know i don't know it's just something i like but other than that yeah maintaining your faith as a, as, as a cabin crew is very difficult because i mean time zones and all of that i mean yes wherever you get there you get there you're tired you have to pray but you're tired and you want to sleep and this is your praying time and you're just like yeah but yeah that's the only um difficulty uh i'm having but i'm pushing through i'm pushing through and then all right uh, what do you get up to when you're off guys when i'm off i sleep when i'm off i'm asleep so i catch up with my sleeping when i'm off you know so that when i'm finally back to work and then um i cook I cook a lot. I cook. I love cooking. I cook a lot. 
catch up with some skim sum okay even when i'm off i'm always with a cheap skim sum and um i tend to do more bible study like i study more like bible study when i'm off because when i when i'm not off i just like <sighs> quick 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 i love doing the daily devotions and whatever but when i'm off um i don't do it all the time i don't do it all the time and that's what i'm fighting for i'm fighting to do it all the time but yeah i don't go out a lot to be honest with you i don't go out a lot going out in door is expensive and besides the, it being expensive i don't know i just don't go out a lot i don't just go i used to go out a lot the first few the first one and a half year that i was here i used to go out a lot all of my money went out to going out a lot because i used to go out a lot and um yeah i used to go out a lot and i don't know it didn't make sense how <laughs> and then i think i got enough of it i was tired of it I'm, and when i mean going out i mean i also used to party yes yes I, I used to party <laughs> i used to party i used to party i used to party and um yeah mm -mm. Out of the <laughs> so yeah i used to go out a lot and that, that's about it so that's why I don't go out a lot now because I'm more on the saving money. Which country do you want to visit and haven't been there before? Oh, so the country I want to visit is Cairo. Cairo is in Egypt, right? I want to visit Cairo because I love what is this horses? Is it horses or donkeys? I don't know. Horses. Horses are like, ah! I wanna. I want a picture in that, and I wanna like like the pyramids and I, like i want to visit cairo i've never been to cairo uh i've just been like as like a uh, flying day back like like because it's a short um it's a short flight we just go in and out we do not stay in cairo so i want to visit cairo so that's that's for sure i want to visit cairo ah what do you do for fun guys believe it or not i love creating short form content for fun when i mean short form content for fun i mean like reels and whatever i love creating reels love creating reels and i don't do that anymore i used to do it a lot but i don't do it anymore because most of the time i'm literally vlogging right so i don't have time for that but yeah i like creating short form content i'll show you my my recent um okay no it has music so you will but like um i like creating content like short form content like Like, I like creating content like this and I recently went out with my friend so I did a reel on that is it I love creating short form content I love it love it so much I'm not gonna play the thingy because of the um, the thingy I'm I'm so sorry I didn't vlog on this day. So yeah, that's what I enjoy doing. Like I enjoy, like that's what I do for fun. Like that's what I do for fun. So now this person said, how do you maintain friendships? Yeah. So for the longest of time, I believed that, you know, once you start acting like a victim, like, you are depriving yourself of realizing the person that you actually are and you fall in whatever. So victim mentality will not take you anywhere in friendships. And having to put yourself in somebody else's shoes is a very big thing. Um, you're not always right when it comes to friendship breaks up, breakups or friendship, whatever. You are not always right. Cut the cameras, you are not always right. You are not always right and you are not always the victim you know you are definitely not always the victim so um yeah so how i maintain friendships like i'm not good at maintaining friendships because i'm a loner i'm a loner when i say i'm a loner i mean i love my time i love my time so i appreciate friendships that understand that Certain days are not the same. I some days I don't want to talk to you. 
some days I want to talk to you, but some days I, I know it's toxic. It's toxic to certain people, but that's why I'm saying I'm not the person to tell you uh, how to maintain friendships and all of that because I suck at maintaining friendships because of the person I am. I'm 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 a very um I I love the idea of friendship. I love my friend and I love the friends that I have right now because they understand that they they get it and some of my friends are actually also like that they are very like girl we cannot we might not talk every day but i get you i get you i know you i i i, I if i need something i'll call you if i want to talk i'll talk to you and i appreciate my friends so much for that i appreciate them so so much like i appreciate them so so much because i'm not your everyday friend Definitely not your everyday friend. Yeah, I'm my, I, 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 I just, yeah, I love my space. I love being by myself. I love, um, I love, um, what's this? I love, yeah, being by myself. That's it. That's just about it. You know, it's not a deep. So, yeah, um, I appreciate my friends so much for that, for that understanding. So I don't know what, because you said you did mention on the question that you recently lost your best friend. Because I lost my best friend, she literally stopped talking to me without a reason and I'm struggling to make friends. Oh my gosh. <laughs> One thing about me, toxic trait about me, if you do something weird, or you say something weird or you say something that I know not even like something weird like something that you know might hurt me but if you do something that disrespects me or make or belittles me or pulls me down or whatever I can literally stop talking to you I will not explain myself I will just stop talking to you like I will stop talking to you I, I would just stop talking to you I would just stop talking to you because I mean you know exactly in that moment people know what they're doing people know exactly what they're doing you were doing that you know my brother people know what they're doing and so nobody's perfect but nah -uh. I'm definitely working on it but no I, 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 I keep it moving I hate to feel disrespected or feel made feel like just make sure I, I hate it okay and then i go in with the benefit con thingy so that's why i'm saying i don't think i'm the right person to tell you about um how to go about the situation with your friends stop talking to me because i do that as well i honestly do that and i'm so sorry forgive Guys, this is my everyday flat attendant makeup look and yeah this is what I love to work every single day and yeah I'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara I hardly put mascara because mascara a little bit so yeah I'm so sorry about that but Keeping constant communication, I mean, communication is the key to friendship. Guys, I thought the questions were a lot, but they were actually not a lot because, um, what's this? A lot of them were repetitive questions or were questions that were linked, into what, that were linked together. But yeah, I'm so sorry if <laughs> I was going on, on on the same question. And I feel like I have I answered all the questions. Uh, oh, I, I forgot to ask this, uh, this one uh, that I missed. Is do you have friends there? Yes, I have friends here. Yeah. And yeah, how long have I been? So I'll just go through the questions and see what I missed. So yeah, guys, I think I have answered almost everything. And then um, I believe I have answered everything. If there's anything that I did not answer, um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> while i'm editing the video i'll see if i can do a voiceover and just put it in but if 
if not yes so the last step that i do is my uh is the lipstick i do have the lip liner but i haven't been using the lip liner because i don't have a sharpener and yeah so all right that's about it guys so this is my everyday flight attendant makeup look i do hope you enjoyed the get ready with me i am currently not going for a flight but because i can't do this when i am going for a flight because i'm always rushing i decided to do it on a day when i'm on standby and um, i might get pulled out for a flight later on so i'm not quite sure yet but anyway thank you so so much for watching this i hope please do, i hope i do hope you enjoyed it and please do not forget to like comment and subscribe um if there's anything i missed please do let me know and i will try and um talk about it in the vlog uh if you still have questions and i might have shot this before you, you wrote your question i am so sorry because I will address it on the next vlog <laughs> i'll address it on the next vlog i'm currently not vlogging i've i've taken a pause on vlogging i i will be going home soon so i'll just be taking snippets and whatever of me of me vlogging but other than that no i will not be vlogging please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and yeah <laughs>